Presbyterian Hospital. Uh, we've been doing that percutaneous biliary stent placement on this patient who's uh, who actually got a tumor in her duodenum. And uh, usually it's done for patients such as this. Uh, often it's for uh, pancreas cancer or uh, cholangeal carcinoma, where there's some obstruction. Usually it's done by um, the GI lab endoscopy, but uh, sometimes it can be done because the uh, obstruction is distal or there's altered anatomy. In this case, she has both, actually. She had uh, some surgery before on her duodenum, making it difficult for the endoscopist to get in, and also the uh, tumor is right around the distal duct. So that's why a few days ago, she's already got access to the biliary system, and the tube is going through her liver into the uh, biliary system, and the tip, you can see on our pleural, is, is coiled in the duodenum. So that part's done already. Basically, what you're going to do today just is uh, put in the uh, metallic wall stent. So let me get started. Here on our system here, Katie, pleural, we got Rena. Hello. And nurse is Sandra. Hello. All right. So we'll start with the uh, low plan treatment. Okay. Can you feel something here, a little pinprick? Let's do this thing a bit. Good. All right. So you can see the dilated ducts in the liver, common wild ducts dilated. Pretty tight stenosis distally. All right, and her anatomy is a little weird because of the prior surgery. Okay, so we take this out. Pull the catheter over the wire. Catheter straight out. Wire staying in. All right, so there's no catheter is out. Right wire is in where it used to be. So I'm going to put in a comfy catheter. It's just a little stiffer, a little uh, easier to dilate over. And we're using the Austin, Austin Scientific Wall Flex stamp. That's a stamp. And it's the same stamp that used in the GI lab by endoscopy, so it's reversible. And the stem we're using, by the way, it's uh, partially covered. So once it's covered, just the ends. Yeah, proximal and distal ends. Uh, yeah, the proximal and distal ends are uncovered. I can turn the corner nicely. All right. So that middle marker, that's point two, that's point of no return. So. You can resheath the uh, stem if you need to reposition it, but once you get past that, it can't be done. So just make sure the position. But you can actually see the waist of the stem at that site where the tape is. You felt it. Yep. Just popped up. All right. Nice. Good. All right. So the stem is in perfect position. You see the tape on the screen. There's the waist. That should expand over the next uh, few days, actually. Now let's take up the deployment system. We have to buy wire in. So just give it in a Dawson meter. Good, almost done here. Let's get another uh, land rim. Right, so here you can see that contrast is in the biliary system. It's going through this the uh, stand nicely. So that's opened up nicely, actually. It's, remember when I started, there was basically no contrast able to get through that distal uh, stenosis now it's going through nicely and again that stent should expand a little more over the next few days. This is camp. If something goes wrong again we can just reaccess that on that. 